Well, you've probably seen them hard at work after disasters like September 11th, Hurricane Katrina, and the devastating earthquake in Haiti. They are search and rescue dogs, heroes, and their job is to find people trapped beneath the rubble before it's too late. Well, many of these heroic animals come from pretty humble beginnings. Danielle Lerner shows us how some local shelter dogs are going from rescued to rescuers. They work in some of the toughest urban conditions imaginable, finding people and saving lives. It takes special dogs to do search and rescue, and many of them come from places like the San Luis Obispo County Animal Shelter. They come in as strays, they come in as dogs that are unwanted by their families. In the past two years, the San Luis Obispo County Shelter has donated three dogs to the Ojai-based National Disaster Search Dog Foundation. Lily was adopted and returned to the shelter three times before becoming a search and rescue dog. There's Tank, who was found wandering the streets by a shelter volunteer, and Hayden, who will soon be working with urban search and rescuers in San Diego. It's a pretty high success rate, considering all the criteria each dog must meet. Dogs who generally you, you probably wouldn't want as a pet. They've got to have a loud bark, an incessant bark. They've got to have a drive. They've got to be energetic. They've got to be tireless. We're looking for a dog who's interested in toys. So volunteers walk the kennels often, keeping an eye out for dogs who show promise. This is a response that we like. The dog is, is actively engaged, um, not looking at me, looking at the toy, up on the gate. Canine recruiters like Miller then put the dogs through a series of tests to see if they have what it takes to start training with the foundation. This is a good thing. He's really engaged. He wants this toy. He wants to play. He likes to tug. The exercises range from playing fetch to seeing how the dog deals with distractions. The ideal candidates must stay energetic and stay focused. They cannot stop searching. They've just got to be on all the time. But on this day, Joey and Sammy fail their evaluations. Both eventually got bored with playing fetch and moved on to other things. He's not obsessive. You ha they have to be obsessed. It's a tough part of the job, realizing that most of these abandoned animals won't make it into the program. But finding those special few makes it all worthwhile. What a great win-win. I mean, rescuing a dog that may someday rescue a person. You know, how rewarding can it get? It takes about six to eight months to train these dogs, and a dog can fail out of the program at any time. Now, the foundation has a lifetime adoption policy, so those dogs who don't go all the way will either be trained for new jobs or be adopted by a family. Either way, they will never be shelter dogs again.